I, of course, was very, very fortunate because Bob Arneson had been approached by Adeliza McHugh, the proprietress of the Candy Store Art Gallery in Folsom, California. And it actually had started out as a candy store. Adeliza and her sister were making almond nougat candy uh, from grandma's recipe, I presume, and that wasn't working. So she did the really brilliant move of going to all of the university and college art departments in and around the Sacramento Davis area and asked the artists, would they like to show at her gallery? Then she went to Davis. And as Arneson told the story, so there's this grandmotherly little lady who walks in and asks if he would like to exhibit some art at her gallery. So he's, you know, the ever funky, practical corkscrew mind Bob, uh, late Bob, uh, he gave her the grossest pieces, you know, the stuff that they had banned from the state fair. And uh, she got them, and she took them, and she sold them all and came back for more. <laughs> and that, I guess, guess from then on, it was love between the two of them. So anyway, I was told to go up there and see what this lady thought of my stuff. And I, I guess she and I hit it off very well immediately, because she didn't even make me walk up the, the stairs. She just had me open my, my little binder of drawings on the hood of the car, looked them over, and said, of course, I'll take them all. I had freshly received my master's from UC Davis, and uh, there I was, painting a spotted cat elephant lightning-striped rhinoceros beast, a fork-tongue, three-eyed kind of mole, beasties. Because all, all wild creatures have teeth. I mean, they're wild, and they're not little people dressed in animal suits. And that's what kind of beasties got into it.